Hello friends, this video on motion and measurement of distance part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, so now again let us get back to the measurement of length. Now I said that meter is the SI unit for length but besides meter there are many other units also for length. So let us look at the various units of length. So they are millimeter, centimeter, decimeter, meter, decameter, hectometer and kilometer. So these are the different units to measure length. Now you might say that why do we have so many units to measure the same thing? So I, I'll just explain that in the next slide. But for now you just need to understand that you have to remember the sequence. So one easy way of remembering it is milli deci, milli centi deci and then you have deca hecto kilo. So meter is at the center. So on the top you have milli centi deci and at the bottom you have deca hecto kilo. So that is one easier way when you uh, shorten the names so it becomes easier to remember the sequence. Now why you need to remember the sequence is this unit that is millimeter. So this in short it is written as mm, this is written as centimeter that is cm, this is decimeter that is dm, meter is written as m, decameter is written as dam because decameter or decimeter otherwise would be confusing. Hectometer is written as hm and kilometer it is written as km. Now if you look at these units you would see that millimeter is the smallest unit and kilometer is the biggest unit. So basically as you move down the units represent more quantity. So that's how like centimeter is a bigger unit than millimeter, decimeter is a bigger unit than centimeter and so on. So that's why it is very important to remember this sequence. So now the most important question. Why so many units? Well let's think of a certain situations. So let's talk about two different cities let's say Chennai and Bangalore these are two different cities and uh, how much is the distance between Chennai and Bangalore any idea okay even if you don't have I will tell you so the distance between Chennai and Bangalore is not very less they are like quite far from each other so the distance between them is approximately let's say 350 kilometers now since the distance here is very huge, we need a bigger unit to express it easily. So since we have expressed it in kilo, and kilometer being a bigger unit is used to measure long distances. So distance between two cities, distance between two countries. So they are expressed in bigger units. Now kilometer is not the biggest unit, but among the units which we have discussed, kilometer is the biggest. Now let's talk about another example. Let's talk about a plastic pipe. So the water pipe which looks somewhat like this. Now if I ask you the thickness of this water pipe. So the thickness would basically be determined by the diameter of the pipe. So let's say this is the mouth of the pipe. And so basically how much is this? We basically want to measure this length. Now looking at this pipe, you can understand that this length is going to be something which is extremely small. It is a very small uh, distance or a very small length. So in such cases, we often measure it in millimeters. Let's say we say that it is a 12 millimeter thick water pipe. So what is this millimeter? So it is a small unit. So when it comes to measurement of length, sometimes we need to measure lengths which are like large in value so we prefer to use bigger units sometimes we are measuring lengths which are very small in value so there we prefer to use smaller units so that is why we have a variety of units so that they can be used uh, in different uh, situations as needed so let's again another take another example when you talk about your height when you measure your height so one common unit that we often use is feet but when you look at the units which I have discussed just now, centimeter is a very common thing which you use to measure height. You say his height is 176 centimeters, his height is 180 centimeters and so on. When you measure the length of the cloth, you often refer it in meters because the length of the cloth which you, I mean, you do not go to the shop and say I need 5 kilometers of cloth because you really 
mostly would not need so much of load. So the unit which is normally used that would be used here is meter. So based upon how much length are you measuring, the respective unit can be used. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.